Suns went 8 0 and still missed the playoffs. Oh, I know. It sucks. That dude went off. How's that happen? They were so far back. Like, they That's brought extra one. teams into the bubble. Like, they didn't just bring the top eight teams. Just so more games, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it was such a close race in the West that they brought everybody. Or not everybody, but they brought, like, the top however many teams. I think it was, like, 11 or 12. And, like, the Suns were in, like, last time. And they worked their way up. They just missed it. Heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. I don't follow the NBA. Yeah. I just see all the Twitter stuff. You're in your big boy job now. We'll get into that. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not? We'll get into it later. We'll get into it after we're done recording. I did. I mean... I mean, you're but, still there, right? Yeah, I'm still there. Okay, <laughs> congr- <laughs> congratulations with the job. Thank this, you. Yeah, well, we, <laughs> I was like, let's, what, let's what do you get mean? started first. Ladies so, and gentlemen, welcome to Hog Talk. We're live from the shack yet again. I'm Brendan Klaus, here with Tavis Sticka. What's up? And we have a special guest, the hairy beast himself. Jake Panko. Big hummus. Big, Big hummus. hummus. Big hummus. A lot of different nicknames. Big Crum. hummus. From, you know, Stanko. I get that one a couple times. Yeah. Nice. Anything really, but yeah. So anyway, yes. I got hired as a teacher slash football coach at West Branch High School. Thank what are you, you teaching man. again? Uh, special ed. All right. Yep. At, at the high school. <laughs> So, and you're coaching. I'm coaching offensive and defensive line. Have you ever yeah. played a lake of defensive line in your life? Yeah, I I played defensive line. Uh, He's got beaten by enough defensive linemen to know. Yes, I love where this is going already. Just like we all have. <laughs> yes, yeah, just like we all have. <laughs> yep. So that's that. Ah, uh, yeah. We're not going to get too into that. That's that'll be a topic for another time because we got some food talk. Well, wait, well we got some topics to talk got, about. Yeah, you had your first scrimmage last night, right? Inner squad scrimmage. How'd that go? It Just went well. Blanket um, statement. It, I mean, it went well. I, I obviously there's a lot more for room for improvement. Right. What was and the highest grade on the offensive line? Highest grade? <laughs> yeah. Oh did man. Did you grade them out? <laughs> no. No, I bet you did. No. I'll be, I'll be the, waiting here with the highest grade. There was a problem with with the film, so I haven't gotten a chance to look at it, but from what I saw at the scrimmage, they did pretty well, I thought. I think there's a lot of potential to be good if we have a season. There's there's definitely been, uh, you know, we've been po- following protocols. Do you got to wear a mask everywhere? Yeah. And so, Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's going well. So, yeah. But anyway, Food. why don't you... Let's get some introductions first, okay? We need a proper O-line introduction. So, <laughs> this is what it's going to consist of. We're going to do that and answer the fan questions. All righty. Fan questions. Okay, so. Oh, how many fan questions did we get? Uh, like, I don't know, like a couple. Yeah, a couple. Not yeah. a lot. At least one. But that's okay. Yeah. yeah, the other thing. We need to be better. Yeah. On social media. Producing content, consistent content. I'm gonna be. A, we'll be better for you guys. I'm gonna be more of a help. School's school slowing down. I you you have an announcement. Yeah. You had <laughs> your last clinical. I I had my last clinical and finished up this semester. So we're waiting for the last tail end grades. I pass all my classes with at took, as long as I don't get like a thirty percent on this one assignment. But that you know That's like, like fingers crossed. Yep, we're we're not counting the ducks yeah. until they're in the pond. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We're good. Oh, it's on Twitter, not Instagram. We made a tweet telling everyone that Big Hummus would be on the podcast, and we had some questions. Such is kind of hurt. Sorry, uh, Such. It's okay. It be. All right, here we go. <laughs> Proper O-line introduction. We need number 54, Jake Panko. We need to know height, weight, hometown, favorite breakfast meat, a fun fact. Okay, well... As the introductions have already said, I'm Jake Penko. I'm 6'1", about 285 right now. I'm from Seven Hills, Ohio. Not to be confused with Parma. I do <laughs> no. get a lot of shit. You're Parma trash. For being from Parma, <laughs> but I am not. Um, fun fact, uh, I know how to make myself pass out. <laughs> Bro, why didn't you use that? 
we could have used that so many times. Yeah, right? which I did. Yes, I was gonna say. I've I've just been saving it, you know, because there's always gonna be a worse day. But yeah, you saved it too long. I did save it too long. I've only done it one time during the or around football time. And it was in the locker room. You did we in the right locker. I was I was there. It was freshman year. It was okay. I was an idiot. But Keep going. Uh, I don't I don't remember what the other. Oh, I, favorite breakfast meat. Uh, definitely bacon. Not even close. Good choice. Um, Solid. I think that's about it for all of that. I don't remember. Fun fact. Oh, we got the fun fact. We already got the fun fact. Oh, yeah. He could pass out. I can oh, pass yeah. out. We, we just will. pass out. Yeah. That. I will CT. not do it. Yeah. Now with the CTE being worse, it'll probably... Won't I wouldn't advise that. You could, yeah. like, die. Oh, yeah. I'm done doing it. I, did, I haven't done it since my freshman year, but... I just know how to do it if, if it ever needs to be brought up. Door coming in. Oh, it's not. Yeah, we're good. Um, the other thing about you is you're an international security major. Is, uh, is that, is that well, correct? Yeah, First. I have a double major with national security and international affairs. So you kind of just bump those together. But so yeah, so what do you want to do? Um. Well... I mean, my mind really changes every day. I'm not really 100 percent But it's like it's not like it changes from, like, oh, I want to, like, go into, like, the FBI to, like, I want to be, like, a math teacher or something like that. But, like, uh, I'm not really sure yet. I mean, grad school is always on the table. You never know. But uh, I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see. Still I'm, figuring I, it out. Yeah, I still uh, I want to go into some form of or some government agency. I don't really know which one yet. I'm still kind of exploring all the options and figuring out which one I think would be best for me. It's all but, good. I had three yeah. different majors. Yeah. Until I graduated. So you're good. Yeah, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's get into uh, some fan questions. Let's do it. All right. First question from uh, Cadell Moore. He would like to know what kind of shampoo, conditioners, slash oils you use for your hair. <laughs> Oh, yeah, blue one. That's a yeah. It is a good one because mm. I do get compliments on my hair a lot. Um, I really only use, uh, and it is a female brand of shampoo and conditioner. Man but I jail. use no, I use Pantene Curl Perfection <laughs> shampoo and then Pantene Curl Perfection conditioner. Bro, I, I think we use the same one. I think we do as well. Oh, we like, like, it, like, it looks like it looks like it looks. I use it for my beard. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what I use. Keeps the hair looking nice. I mean, people should take note. You should take note. It's it's getting really. I mean, long basically, imagine Jason Momoa, but just fatter, but, but just, and whiter, yeah, and shorter. Uh, basically the same. Person. Yeah, basically the same person. All right. Next question. We'll uh, we'll go with the uh, the uh, easy questions first. Um, yeah. Okay. Nick Berger. Friend of mine, pass blocking or run blocking? What's your favorite? See, I did see that, and I was thinking about it, and I feel like run blocking is definitely my my favorite for me, because like if you like just drive someone off the ball, you're just like yeah. <laughs> but there's also like That's a true. really good feeling that like sits in your heart when you're pass blocking and you're on the zone protection oh, yes. side and you see that no one's in your gap and so you just get to take a straight line to go help out the tackle and just pray that that DN tries to like spin, spin inside or something. Give me yeah. those ribs, boy. Yeah, that's like one of the best feelings. But overall, I would definitely say I enjoy run blocking. The other more. thing with pass blocking is you're on those long touchdown passes and you can sprint down, get some yeah. finger guns in there. Yeah. You go celebrate yeah. with your teammates. Yeah, it's a great time. That's but awesome. yeah, always love looking for some fun when there's no one in my gap. But I do love run block. Love it. I think all the line dudes love that. Oh, it's a great feeling. Just destroying somebody's life. Mm-hmm. Ruining one guy's life. We ought to put some clips up. We if should we can find them. If we can find some kill I shots. Have, I, have, I have one pretty good one from the WJ script. Send it to us. I think I I, could, yeah. I, I have a couple more, Send but it, it would take us. a while to find them. But I do know for a fact that I know, I know from WJ. I know Johnny Todd has. Johnny Todd yeah. does have a lot of them. Me and him set up some good ones. We're going to yeah. do a Hit Stick Wednesday or something like that. <laughs> That's going to be part of our social media game. It's got to be like... Uh, Search like searchlight search light, something. Searchlight Saturday. Searchlight Sunday. Oh. Searchlight Sunday. Searchlight search Sunday. Sunday. So we're Where's gonna that? want you guys to DM us your uh, your highlights if you got a searchlight. And if you don't know what a searchlight is, you probably 
Kind of played up. real offensive line. Um, the clip it's when you of, murder someone, basically. Yeah, it's the clip right. of Quentin Nelson against uh, the Chargers. I forget what the linebacker's name was. I forget. Ingram. Yeah, Melvin Ingram destroys him, and yeah. that's that's a shir- searchlight because yep. he's yeah. Yeah, drop us drop us a hit like that, and uh, we'll throw it up. Throw some some love to the Hogs. Oh, yeah, I got a couple. I'll definitely yes. submit it. Searchlight Saturday. Yeah, Searchlight right. Saturday, Searchlight Sunday, whatever it is. Yeah, next question. Angelo Moretti, another friend of mine. Have you ever had to go to the bathroom during a game? Mm-hmm. Number yes. one. <laughs> and you'll probably understand as soon as I say the name of the game, but Heidelberg this year, I really had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and the reason for that is our choice for dinner the night before that game, the O-line made the yep. proud choice to go to the Chinese buffet. <laughs> In Tiffin, all, Ohio. All you can eat Chinese. All you can eat. In Tiffin, Ohio. <laughs> and that, I woke up the next morning and it was rough. I was sitting there and I was like, I may poop my pants right now. <laughs> and, it, and it was raining. It was raining. Rain. It was Those wet. tight ass uniforms. It was cold. I had my super tight white uniform on. It would have been rough. Screw it was those jerseys, man. I hated that one. That was the only. So like those things basically like are almost like a like run like a size small yeah. how tight they are. Yeah. The white jerseys were the only jerseys that didn't have an XL fifty four number. The only size they had for fifty four was a large for their white jerseys. Yikes. So I'm normally You're in a squeezing. regular yeah, I'm normally in a regular XL jersey. And I was in a large white jersey. So that thing was like a Extra a medium, medium in it, yeah. Yeah, an extra medium, and you could see my whole my whole body was outlined, <laughs> to say the least. You White is not it. a good color for a line. No, you could see everything. It was, I mean, it is what it is. And on top of that, you had to shake your brains out. <laughs> yeah, and on top of that, I did have to and it was really raining. bad because I had about seven pounds of low mane sitting in my stomach. <laughs> but you know, it is. What it's it crab is. rangoon, though. Oh, it was it was so worth it at the time. It was it was, so <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it until the next morning. Oh, the next morning, you woke up. You're like, oh. how many plates did you have that night? I mean, I don't remember, but probably like three. Or I know. Four. I, I had at least three. But they weren't like little plates, like they were. You pile them on. Yeah, they were plates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They weren't plates. They were plates. Yeah, they were. They were some heavy <laughs> plates. But yeah. Oh yes, I love it. That's a good story. Mm-hmm. All right, Johnny Todd, what's it like being from Parma? He's just curious. <laughs> I would never know because I am not from Parma. Uh, for everybody who doesn't know, over. there's yeah, there's there's a town in northeast Ohio called Parma that for some reason everybody refers to as Parma Trash, even though it's not a trashy place at all. It's just like for some reason that's like the ongoing northeast Ohio joke is that if you're from Parma, you're Parma Trash. But I actually live in the city next to it, which is Seven Hills, which is not Parma. So I don't know Johnny Todd, I'm sorry. And what high school did you go to? I did go to Padua Franciscan High School, which is in Parma. Oh, there it is. That's not, well, there's no. But you're not from Parma. No, I'm not from Parma. There are no high schools in Seven Hills. It's such a small city. There's no high schools. So you just say there's a bunch of high schools in Parma. Would would Parma beat Glen Oak? And by how much would they beat Glen Oak? I don't know. I hate to be that guy, but the, the. Football teams in Parma for high school aren't, aren't too, for the public schools, not the private schools. Padua's got a good football team. I love all their coaches and all that. I had a great time playing there. What was your record senior year? We went 5-5, five and five, uh, which was a lot better considering my sophomore year. We were 2-8. and eight. My junior year, we were 1-9. and nine. Then we got some new coaches, and we went 5-5. Five and five. It could have been better. We were 5-3 and three going into our last two games, but then our starting quarterback got mono, and then we lost both games. But it is what it is. What's that say, Tab? Did you see it? No. Is there a red? No. Did it stop recording? It might have. All right. We may have some technical difficulties. Oh, yeah, it stopped. All right. We got that fixed. We'll splice it up. Yeah, no problem. We had to splice it up last time. Really? Apparently it only went... It recorded in like three different videos. 
So I had to put them all together, but it worked out. My brother showed me how to use the software and got the video editing all good to go, so it'll be fine. And if we want to put like pictures up there, I know how to do that as well. So that would be cool. All right, I like it. All right, last question. I'm not going to tell you who it's from. I mean, you probably, I'll probably saw it be able to guess who it's from. Who's your favorite Canadian and why? I did see this. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to have to go with, just because the question is not from him, I'm going to go with Cam Saletti. Oh! Uh, that's my favorite. We're going to have uh, some angry Canadians. Just because I know that this individual was expecting himself, but... Was he your second favorite? Oh, yeah. It's real close. It's you know Cam, two, and you, then You know he's right two there. Canadian people? Yeah, I did. Which is surprising. I'm just saying, is that all you know? Yeah. I know. Okay, so, so it's one last place. Yeah. Why is, why is Cam your favorite Canadian? I got to give it to Cam because me and Cam, like, one, our sophomore year, we lived right across the hall from each other. And two, this past summer, we worked together with each other at the Parks Department. So. Fair enough. Yeah. He's Sorry, just got a slight place. edge. But you, I still love you. You know who you are. <laughs> I guess we'll keep the name. Yeah, we'll keep the name anonymous. Just in case Canada tries coming after him. Taking him back. Fair enough. Hey, are you growing your beard out? You look a little shaggy for, uh, I just, I don't know. I mean, I might be. I are would love excited? to see a big yeah. beard. You I need to grow back. I think I'm not going to, I'm not going to shave until this shred 4.0 is done. With, I'm doing, with I'm doing 3.0. I'm, what? I, I'm a week into it. Oh, are you? Yeah. I thought you were going to take a week. What's it say? Card storage? Cannot record. It's the card storage. Well, do you have an SD card? No, I don't. I have one at home. Did you not delete the other ones? It's already up. I didn't know if it. Fuck, I, I didn't know it couldn't hold more than. Damn, get on that tread a little faster. <laughs> oh, I just popped off the mat. We'll keep it recording on the on the microphone here. It's all good. We need we'll put the video. Well, we can put. We can put pictures in at the lab. We can do it on our phone. You could record the rest on your phone and then splice it together. You got it, Klaus. Technical issues. It's okay, though. We are resilient. Yeah, where's Kark when you need him? Yeah. Did you know it's Mike? It's Unk's birthday. Is it really? Unk! Unk, if you listen to this, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, buddy. Give me, give me one second. Well, I mean... Oh, it's on the microphone. The mic's still going. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ooh, Juju Smith Schuster. Put out. All right. Yeah, happy birthday, Unk. I want to watch that. Later. More technical difficulties. It's okay. We're back. We're back. Yo. Yep. Hopefully this doesn't... Die out again. Yeah. We'll be good, though. Yeah. We'll be fine. Beginning stages of podcasts. It's all right. That is true. I'm glad you understand that. I mean, shoot. We're in the shack. I was going to say, we're in, we're in the shack. <laughs> I, might, I might go get a lift in there. You might as well. Yeah. We should record some lifts in here. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, but, cool. uh, yeah, next thing on the itinerary, did you send them those pictures? I did, yep, send them I those did pictures. see them. All right. Everyone's phone. Dang it. You're going to have to tell me. We'll, we'll share it. We'll share it. Okay. There is a lot of food discussions coming up. All right. Now, I say we start with, with the most obvious one, which is this picture. Yes. Okay. You can pull it up. I, I, say it so everyone understands. So, and we'll put the, we'll a lot put the of these. Up. A lot of these were taken off of uh, Barstool. They post a lot of like, oh, choose your favorite food or whatever type of food or whatever. And since we all thoroughly enjoy eating a lot of food, we figured we'd go through it. So the first one is you get to choose three for your ultimate combo. And the first category is the French fries, and it has McDonald's fries, Chick-fil-A waffle fries, and Taco Bell nacho fries. Okay. So you have to pick a fry. You have to pick a fry and then a sandwich and then a dessert. Okay. So we'll just go through the fries yep. first. Yep. And I feel like... Oh, you, okay. We'll go through the fries this one is definitely, I feel like a lot of people are going to be on the same page. Maybe not for the fries, but for the last two. But, like, the other ones, there will be some heated debates. But this one, like, if you don't pick this, if we don't pick the same burger and the same dessert, 
All right, what are we doing? Go ahead. What's your fry? I personally am probably going to go with the Taco Bell nacho fries. I've never had them. I've never had them either. My first instinct was McDonald's french fries. McDonald's is mine, too. Okay. I can't do them like that. If you don't pick McDonald's fries... Their fries are like... They're, they, they are should, so good. They should be known for their fries. Yes. They, they are They are good, but the nacho fries are always like, they're never always there, so it's like to always have them would be fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it would be great. I've never, I've never had a nacho fry, so I'm not going to pick them. Just, That's fine. That's fine. All right, so we're in disagreements on that. I feel like this one will definitely be in agreement on. So the next one is the sandwich, and there is the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Wendy's Baconator, and the Big Mac. And for me, this is a no-brainer. It's the Baconator. Yes. Shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah, you can't. Get out of, it, get it, out it, of it, my it, shack. Yeah. Get out. Just just hold on. Let me think about this. No, there is no there's thinking. There's no thinking. It's the Baconator. It was, it was point two seconds thinking. You guys got to understand, like, I haven't had, none of us have had fast food in a long time. I've maybe... Well, guess what? I can, still, Taco Bell, but I can still pound a Baconator whenever I need 100%. to, and I will thoroughly enjoy it. Yes, are you telling me a chick, uh, uh, over a Chick-fil-A sandwich? Yes. Though? Yes, I'm taking a Baconator. Yes. Oh, Those man. Chick-fil-A sandwiches are like bite size compared to the monster that is I'd the Baconator. I'd rather have two of Get those. Get out of here. But we're not talking about two of these. It's a Chick-fil-A your chicken combo. sandwich. combo. All right. You get one of them. All right. If I get one of them, I'll go Baconator. But Thank you. but here's the thing. I know I'm going to feel like shit afterwards. I'm going to feel like shit after I eat any of these. So yeah. No, if I have two Chick-fil-A sandwiches, I'll be fine. And I'll be satisfied, too. My toilet will be blown to shreds if I eat two Chick-fil-A sandwiches. You're ridiculous. Yeah. If we were allowed two sandwiches, I would take two but Chick-fil-A sandwiches. sandwiches. It's the Baconator. I, okay. It's we the, are in agreement. Yeah. You and me, Tev. I the fries and the Baconator. Okay, and, and then we're all in agreement on the yeah. Baconator. And then the last one is the dessert, and there is the McFlurry, a Dairy Queen Blizzard, and the Wendy's Frost. Okay, what kind of blizzards and McFlurries? Oh my god, it doesn't you, matter. It doesn't matter. Bro. It's a McFlurry or a blizzard. The McFlurry, the ice cream so machine's kind? down 24 7. But yeah, you only get to pick. Yeah, so I'm going Blizzard. McFlurry's down. Blizzard. Not it's blizzard. Blizzard. It does, it's blizzard. Yeah. Blizzard or Frosty? Yeah, Blizzard. Yeah, you gotta go. Blizzard. You gotta go Blizzard. I thought you were Frosty's blizzard. just like ice cream. Like blizzard, you get no, the, no, no, no. You get to pick like what what flavor you want. And you can throw By the way, they more. came out with like their summer flavors, which was a while back. The, the, the Frosted Animal Cracker stuff. Oh my gosh, that was you, you had it too. Yeah, yeah I had so a little good. bit. <laughs> that one and the and the Oreo cheesecake one. Oh my. Oh gosh. my. It makes me. Mm, I want one <laughs> so bad, but I don't. Have you tried that new ice cream place? Uh, almost heaven. Almost heaven. No. I want to so bad. Where at? It's, it's right behind uh, the circle. Like giant game. eagle in that circle. Yeah, game. over over across from the, the get go. Yeah, dude. It's really. It's good. like a, it's it? like a barn kind of. Yeah, it's, it's not finished really, yet. They have like like thirty different flavors of ice cream in there. So that's it's expensive. No, not really. I went and I got like a. Uh, they called it you like a, a Brutus blast, but it was basically like a. Uh, it was basically like a blizzard, but it was like a little bit more like. Is it peanut butter? Right? Creamier. Well, you get the pig. I got Kit Kat. They had Reese's, though, and stuff. You could do whatever you want. I got Kit Kat. Was you better go food. before you start your diet. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I'm telling you, it's so good. If you go yeah. during your diet, you're going to not, you're going to hate yourself. Okay. But, yeah, I figured we'd all be in agreement. We're yeah. all, yeah, we're besides all. Besides the fries. The fries were iffy. We all had the but, same combo. Yeah, yeah. So, that one, everybody was kind of in agreement. So now, this is where it gets a little tricky. All right, next where are we one. going? Here we're going, going here. Yes. Yeah. So, you get... You have to choose three. These are the only three fast food places that you can eat at for the rest of your life. Okay. We have Taco Bell, Popeyes, Chick Fil A, Burger King, Subway, McDonald's, Arby's, Wendy's, and Panda Express. All right. So we can pick three, and that's it. Now, this is. Do you just want me to say my three, and yeah. I'll explain them, yes. and then we'll go. Yes. Okay. So for me, no brainer. One of them has to be Taco Bell. Yeah. And the reason for that is because there's no other place I would rather be at two of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Yes. I can't go. Like I can't cheat oh, yeah. on Taco Bell with anything else. Like no. maybe sheets once, or but I can give up sheets just to go eat Taco Bell all the time at two. Of them if there's a long line at Taco Bell, you'll go to sheets. Yeah. No, I'm waiting yeah. now. It depends, depends on the time. Sometimes I'll wait it out, sometimes I'll go to sheets. But, yeah, so i got to go with Taco Bell. Um, I'm definitely going to go with Chick-fil-A probably for my second one. And I feel like that's just because I I don't think I would be able to go without chicken. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Like, a lot of these are, like, common ones. I guess Chick-fil-A is pretty common, too, but, like, something about their chicken sandwiches make me feel good. <laughs> so, I would have to go with Chick-fil-A. And it was close with Popeyes, but I'm, I'm going to give Chick-fil-A the edge there. And I think for my last one, I would have to go with probably McDonald's. Uh, I'm going to go with Wendy's, actually. Good. Because you need some burger. You have to have some burger yeah. that you can go get. Yeah. And so Wendy's I already got bur- Wendy's burgers. Yeah. Over McDonald's you can't burgers. take Taco Bell. Like, you can't get a burger from Taco Bell, obviously, or Chick fil A. So you need some. So yours are. You need some meat in there. Your Wendy's, Chick fil A, Chick-fil-A, and Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Yeah. All right. Triple B, go for it. <laughs> Bald beard. And uh, what is it? Blue eyed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going Wendy's. <laughs> Got to get the obvious out there. Yes. Okay. Wendy's. Uh, although I don't like their fries as much as I enjoy McDonald's, um, I think their foods are superior. Their burgers are yeah, superior. Yeah, their burgers are superior, and, you know, their McNuggets are no, or their nuggets are enough to where I could substitute them if I... Plus, their ice cream machine works. You can always get a Frosty. Ice cream machine does always work, and they've got so many more drink options, you know? That is true. That is. They've got so many more drink options. So, Wendy's won. Wendy's is one. I love Chinese food, so I'm definitely going Panda Express. It was Panda Express and uh, like Chick Fil A. Where like I was like battling between those two. Yeah, I didn't really. That's a good pick. But yeah, Yeah. I I had to go with. But I understand. So Panda Express is my two. Now there's one that there's one fast food chain that I'm just gonna say is my honorable mention that didn't make this list that would be taking the three spot over T Bell if it was here, and that's Sonic. You cannot sleep on oh. Sonic's happy hour, and they are also open, like, late. And true. if we had one in Alliance... I was about to say, but you got to drive there. Yeah, the I, if we had one that. in Alliance, yeah. I, or if it was one that I, like, I know we're not taking, we're not adding to this, this list, but that would have been now Taco Bell. But that being said, Taco Bell obviously has to be there. Like Panko said, the, where are you walking... Two, you're not walking directly home after chives. No. No, it's just not happening. You no. are making no a No matter detour. where you're at. Exactly. No. You are planning your in evening. Any town USA, <laughs> if it is late enough and you have enough alcohol in your system, yes. you are you're going, going to Taco Bell. Yes. You're going to Taco Bell. Yes. You have to. And their breakfast is slapped, too. I've had it like four uh, yeah, times. Yeah, I'll get the week. breakfast all the time. Their breakfast yes. is very good. R.I.P. the Beefy Fritos burrito. R.I.P. I don't want to talk about that. I was a little hurt. I went to Taco Bell last night, actually, after I got back from clinical. Let me tell you, I was very surprised and hurt. I had to mourn why I was in the drive-thru line. Yeah, so did I. It was rough. They replaced it with a beef burrito. No. Beefy burrito. No, not the same. You need the Frito. Yes. You need the Frito. Yes. I'm, I'm upset. A dollar, too? Like, come on. Can't be. They put the Fritos in the new taco. Did you like have the double layer taco? No. It's like a, it's like a baby chalupa almost. You know. Oh really? Like it's got like the soft taco. They had that. Did you get that grilled cheese burrito? They took it off their. No. Was it good? I heard it was good. Oh, I heard about that new sandwich. (laughs) Oh my gosh, was it good? On Seth Rossi's podcast, they were talking about Taco Bell made like a grilled cheese. It was literally like a burrito with a bunch of cheese on the inside of it, and then they wrapped it in cheese. <laughs> oh so unhealthy for you, so delicious. That would make me shit my brain, though. Oh, I mean, Taco Bell always does, so yeah. it didn't matter to me. But yeah. yeah, that was Yeah, but fantastic. like cheese, like a cheese-based, you know, item from Taco Bell, that's just, a, you're, you're just adding on to your toilet damage. Yeah, yeah, you probably It's going to be bad, but yeah. All right, you need to look at this? I, I got mine. You got yours? Yeah. Right, let's hear it. I, in no particular order, It's Wendy's is going to be in there because they're just a classic number one overall pick for mm-hmm. me. I am also going to go Panda. Panda yes. Express, there's a lot of variety, and you can be healthy. That's going to be my health option. Just in, just in case you need because I'm eating that there for the rest of my life. Which is good because there is the health option of Subway on here, and I hope you don't say Subway is your third because Subway Subway is not my third. Terrible. Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is my third. Okay. okay. So I have Wendy's, Panda, and Chick Fil A. I was kind of debating, and I know this is going to be no one's going to be in agreement with this, but I was debating putting Burger King in there. 
Oh, I could. T- I they heard, are so cheap. They you are get like ten nuggets for like a dollar. A dollar. It's like okay. Well, I'm a milkshake slap. So good. They had their they they had like a uh, limited edition like it was like a M M&M and M cookie milkshake. Their whoppers are huge. Their oh, burgers are yeah. gigantic. Yeah, they are. If if it was just a little bit better quality, it definitely would have made it in there for me. But it was close. I miss eating stuff like that. Yeah, so do I. I haven't had I haven't had fast food in a while. Are you gonna start your weight loss journey? I don't know yet. You're just chilling for now. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Yeah, we'll see. We got we got more, right? Yeah, yeah, two more. more. We got two more. We'll okay. we'll go to the sauce one next because we're still on the topic. To, to be honest, here. I've had all of two of these. The, then you should have a good. Uh, I've had a lot. Good of pick. These. I've had a lot of these. So the next one is. You can only have three sauces for the rest of your life. And the options are we have the regular Chick-fil-A sauce, the Wendy's Creamy Sriracha, Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce, Whataburger Spicy Ketchup, what do? the Fire Sauce from Taco Bell, Popeye's Blackened Ranch Sauce, and I'm going to be honest, that's the only one I haven't had on this list. So that one's definitely going to be out for me. You can, honey, have, you can have a free agent. Yeah. Honey mustard from McDonald's, Arby's horsey sauce, and then cane sauce. You see? You can look. Do you know your three? I think I know my three. We're picking three again, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. And I'm going to put in a very, very, very close fourth place. This one did not make the cut, but it's still one of my favorites. It's going to be the, the Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. Really? I, a lot of people don't like that. I love it. But that comes in at four because there are three that I would have. I could literally chug. Now, Chick-fil-A sauce is on there, right? The regular Chick-fil-A sauce is going to be one of my on there. Uh, okay, I figured. Like, people like that sauce yeah. over the Polynesian. It is. It Yeah. And I like them both a lot, but I do like the chi- the regular Chick-fil-A a little bit better. So I'm going to go with that one. Uh, my number two is going to be the spicy ketchup from Whataburger. And I have had that very limited times. I, had I was going to say, I've only had that I had it when we were down, yeah, when we were down they in were Texas. Both, yeah, they were and both And it was fantastic. Texas. And then Sudi's like, mom bought him like a bottle of it, basically. So, I mean, I've had it here and there. But, yeah, I love that stuff. It is so good. So, the Whataburger Spicy Ketchup would definitely be the number two. And then number three, which I recently just got put on to a little bit ago, is the Wendy's Creamy Sriracha. Really? Yes. I haven't had that. I had not either, but my brother and his friends back home were, like, raving about, like, how good it was. So, I uh, like, the next time I was at Wendy's, I was like, eh, fuck it, just give me the creamy sriracha. And I was like, wow, I should have been eating this for the rest of my life. <laughs> have you had their breakfast yet? Wendy's breakfast? I haven't. Dude. Either. Is it otherworldly? Is it as good? I haven't had, I have, the only thing I've had from there is the, the breakfast baconator. Which was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, like, like a patty on there? Yeah. I couldn't even tell if it was like a sausage patty or like, I think it was a regular burger patty. But it was basically like a bacon, a bacon here, but it had like an egg on it. And it was like, wow, you just made it even, even though like an egg's not like super unhealthy for you, like an egg from Wendy's probably can't be too healthy. And, you know what I mean? Well, I heard they're like, <laughs> they've got matter. like a honey. I've heard that's really good. I don't really know what it is. It's like a honey chicken biscuit or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I've seen a lot of people talking about it. I gotta see that. But yeah, Wendy's creamy sriracha. So I have Whataburger spicy ketchup, regular Chick Fil A sauce, and Wendy's creamy sriracha. Shout out to my brother and CJ for putting me onto that. You go on. Go ahead. I got my three. Yeah, go ahead. I'm ready. I'm gonna go again in no particular order. Wendy or uh, not Wendy's Chick Fil A sauce. It's gotta be out there. Classic. It it can go with a lot of things too. It like really can. It's so good too. I could put like seventy packs of it on my on my Chick Fil A sandwich. <laughs> I love talking literally about just food. A, just on <laughs> like the car or like the van ride homes from games. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when we got, I forgot what game it was. We got Chick Fil A. Was that the Huckleberry game too? No, it was uh, Capital. Capital. It was Capital. It was Capital. We got it after uh, Rose Holman this year too. I remember. But Capital, yeah, I was like. <laughs> Seven packets on there. Yeah. Dude, whenever we got Chick Fil A on the bus, it was the best bus ride ever. Oh yeah, was the cookies though. from Chick Fil A. Yeah, oh, I just love, love them. Yeah. All right, second one. Again, limited choices here. 
and limited amount of times that I've had Whataburger's spicy ketchup. It's good, man. Whataburger, when I went there, when we were playing in the Stag Bowl down in Texas, went there twice, loved it. Yeah. I remember as I soon as good. as soon as we got off the bus, she was like, "My mom's here." She brought us Blood Burger. Yeah, I was like, you, dude, we literally you. just got to our hotel the first night. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And so we met her behind the bus, and she gave us, and we went up to the room, and I literally took one bite, and I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, that is fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, so I am an and then with you. My third is going to be cane sauce. See, I figured that. that see, would be see, that's a good. That's another one you can put on. A, a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the Chick-fil-A sauce, but it's Canes. I think it's very overrated. Canes I think in general? Can, canes in general and their sauce because Heath, shout out Heath, was able to remake it. like, And it tasted exactly the same. I think, I think it's, uh, like, don't get me wrong, it's a good sauce, yeah. but I am a great fan on that. I think people like overhype it way too much. And I think they're, I think they're, they're like, chicken so hard. Sauce. I make it a lot. Like, yeah. what is it? What did Heath do? Heath, I don't. You'd have to ask. All I know is it showed up in our refrigerator. Okay, I I just throw barbecue and like mayo or, or ranch or something like that together. Yeah, and it's this tangy kind of like a cane sauce. So I have that a lot. That's why I put cane. Heath sauce. looked it up and made like the actual recipe. Like someone leaked really? the recipe on Reddit or something like that. Nice. And it was like tasted exactly. I'm gonna have to ask him about Dude, it. Dude, I wonder if like. There are more recipes leaked on every uh, Reddit. It's the internet. It would yeah. be Reddit. If it would be on Reddit. There's so much stuff. Yeah, but like, Reddit. if you wanted like the secret menu from McDonald's or any fast food restaurant, there's like a, a secret, secret menu. menu? Oh, I'm sure. You've never heard of secret menus before? For well, like for Starbucks, but like, is there a secret one? Oh, for well, there's secret everyone's one. probably everyone's got a secret, secret menu. menu. Yeah. There was. Have you ever heard of like the Meat Mountain or whatever at Arby's? No. They literally pile, like, all their meats together. It's, like, that big. I was like, how what? much is it? I mean, I don't know. I've never gone and asked for one. I don't really go to Arby's that much, but. I go to Arby's. When you... Oh, jeez. A windy, windy day here today. Huh? Yeah, windy day in the, uh, the in dirty A. <laughs> yeah, in the shack, yeah. Hopefully we don't, we don't get rained on again. Uh, Whatever, we'll, right. be, yeah, we'll, we'll be, be good. We play through the conditions. We played through rain. We played through almost shitting our pants. We played through we snow. We do it all. Played through snow. We can do it all. Silver. We played uh, through the monsoon. You yeah. were there for that game. What game? Washington Lee. Were you there? Did you dress? Uh, I was an alternate. Been, I was an alternate. Been your freshman year. I was an alternate. I, I was on the side. Yeah, I was on the sideline. You remember seeing the field? Oh, literally yeah. flooded. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. It sucked. Mine. Yeah, go ahead. Polynesian sauce. I've had it like I've had it once, but I thought it was great. It is very good. Even it's, it is a sleeper. I've like, I've literally had Chick Fil A. I've been to Chick Fil A outside of games once. Like I've never gone like just oh I'm gonna go get Chick Fil A. I I have, I have a fairly large amount of times. <laughs> <laughs> but I had Polynesian sauce. That was great. Um, again, very overrated sauce, but it's got to make my top three out of this selection, and that's Cane's, right? Even though we can make it. it can, it's overrated, but it's good. It's yeah, it's a good, good sauce. Overrated. It's yeah. a good, versatile sauce. But I'm telling sauce. you, some people are like, yeah. bro. Yeah. Cane's sauce. Canes. I need it. Cane's is so good. It's, like it's, it's a normal sauce, but it's, it's really good. It's a good yeah. overall restaurant. Yeah. Go ahead. What's your third? Give me honey mustard from McDonald's. Wow, you're leaving off Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah, bro. Okay. What was it? McDonald's what? Honey mustard. Honey mustard. See, I, I don't go to McDonald's unless it's for the fries. Or a, I like honey mustard. I love honey mustard. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a slut for honey mustard. Yeah. Being honest. The so. only time I'll go to McDonald's is, is for breakfast. Like if I desperately need a breakfast. Mm-hmm. That's the only time. All right. So we have a little... I don't have any like free agent sauces that I can think of right now. Polynesian is definitely my... I got a... Fire sauce, I love it, but... There's so many more that are better than you, so I had to leave you out for sure. Yep. Now, the last topic. Here Damn, this one's hard. I was just reading Are you reading it? Yeah. Now, here's what I say we do. We, we pick which house we like the most, but then after that, we pick our top three, fa- top three or four favorite alcoholic choices from any of the houses. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. 
So this last one is related to beer. And there's basically Obviously. four different houses that have different we'll, we'll have it up. types of beer. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll run through them. And we're just going to pick which one we think go, we would enjoy. Go by the houses. So house one has the shower beer, post-workout beer, no other cold drinks in the fridge beer, tailgate beer, and last call beer. House two has free beer, 3 a.m. beer, golf beer, porch beer, and straight to the bar from work beer. Oh, that's a good house right there. <laughs> house three has just mowed the lawn beer, lunchtime beer, last beer in the case beer, pregame beer, and country concert beer. And then the final house has Friday beer, airport beer, out on the water beer, 21st birthday beer, and getting dressed for a wedding beer. Oh. And I'll go first. One just, house. We're picking one yeah, house. Yeah, you're picking one house, and then I guess he can go next, and I'll let you look at this. Yeah, yeah go ahead. But I think definitely for me, it's got to be house one. House one? House one. The Why? shower beer. Shower beer is just too powerful. Well, listen. All right. Well, out of my number one choice, out of anything, out of all of these beers, is a shower beer. Yeah. I yeah. That was slot for a shower beer. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, because uh, you can kind of like, first of all, a post workout beer isn't bad either. No. A post workout shower beer uh, is electric. <laughs> <laughs> it's electric. A post workout beer is not bad, but if you combine that with the shower beer, that's a power um, couple as well. It, it is a power is. couple. Oh, no man. other cold drinks in the in the fridge beer. That one's a sleeper too. Because it's like, I mean, I guess I'll have this. It's the only thing that's cold, <laughs> yeah. but you know you're gonna enjoy it. Oh, and then a tailgate beer. I mean, come on. That's Everybody like, loves themselves a tailgate. Class. Last call beer, I mean, I understand it's like a cool one, but like that's not that's not a huge one for me. But yeah, so I would say I'm definitely going to go with house number one, and that's just because the shower beer is my number one out of anything. But I'll give my my top four total once everybody once everybody goes. But yeah, I'm definitely picking house that's one. Not, in my opinion, that's not the best overall house. I'm going... But the shower beer is just too big. I'm going house one as well. And I hell, I agree guys? with everything you have to say, but I love a last call beer because that beer is like the last thing standing in the way of you and your Taco Bell. You, you and could food. You could also drink you, it on the way to Taco it, Bell. On your you walk drink to it with Taco your Taco Bell. Bell. Exactly. This, the opportunity for a last call beer is endless. And it's always followed by something phenomenal, whether that's food bed, a great conversation with whoever you're with. More just beer, a, when, more you get beer home. when you get home. <laughs> like, there's just nothing but good things in front of a last call I, beer. I agree with that, but I feel like I always leave, like, before last call, because there's always, like, someone who's, like, before last call, I was like, yo, Taco Bell. It's like, ah, oh, screw last call, let's go. Yeah. So, like, that's why I put, put last call on there. But I, I, do see where, I do see where you're coming from. But, yeah, I if think... If you make it that far, there are only good things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going with house one though. Yeah, so we're in agreement on that. Post workout, oh, it's better than creatine. I feel like <laughs> yours is going to be house four, and my only reason. Wait, let me see that again. My only reason for that is because I feel like you're a big out on the water beer guy. I am going to go with. Oh gosh, overall, see. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with uh, house number two. Two. Okay, yes. can you run through those again, just so I can. So house number two is a free beer, a three a.m. beer, a golf beer, a porch beer, and a straight to the bar after work beer. Now you got three fairly power ones there. That's what yeah. I'm saying. In, in the golf now, beer, now, the free beer, and the straight to the bar after work. Beer. Yes. Now you were almost right. House number four would have been my second choice because that also has. A lot of power, like yeah. a lot of power beers. They got house number four, Friday beer, airport beer, out of the water beer, twenty first birthday, and getting dressed for a wedding beer. Now I just think that those don't overpower the straight to the bar from work beer is so nice, 
So yeah. nice. Yeah, it tastes so, so different. Yeah, it does. It's so does a golf beer. Golf golf, golf beers, beers taste, taste different. Different. They taste different. I won't give you that. They porch beer, not bad. Not bad either. Yeah. Not bad. You're sitting on your porch, yeah. relaxing, watching mm-hmm. all the townies go by. It's mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. All right. 3 a.m. beer, it's kind of like the last call beer. You can eat it with your Taco Bell at 3 a.m. However you interpret it. Yeah, but I would take now a Now, free beer? Now, free beer? Free beer is a me beer. Yeah, free I will beer give is a me beer. Free beer is a me beer. I love yeah. it. Yeah. But now, we're going to make it even harder. You got to pick your top four beers. Top four beers. From there. Am I going first? Uh, I can go first if you want to. Do you know? I think I know what my, what my one... Yeah, I, I, I think I know. Let's do the same order. Okay. Top four. Well, we've already been over this. My number one. If you can make your own house... Yeah, if I can... Oh, with, okay. With four or five? Well, there's five in there, so we'll make your own house. With okay, five. make your own house. Make your own house with five. Shower beer is 100% on there for me. I don't know why. It's just something about drinking a beer in the shower. It's like, <laughs> I feel ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> like, primed and ready to go. Yeah, like, I feel like I'm, I'm getting Get ready. squeaky clean. Yeah. yeah. Hammer and beer. Yeah. So, shower beer is definitely number one for me. Now... Number two for me is going to be an out on the water beer. See, the, th- the problem yes. I had with out on the water beer is, see, I've I've gotten, you know, I I've had an out on the water beer. I've had a couple out on the water beers. A couple too many out on the. A couple water too beers. many. Yeah. May have been a public beach, you know. A yeah. Beach. Ah, that wasn't beer. That was whiskey. Let's not even yeah, get, right. get it switched. Anyway, I, you know. I, I, got su- that, I got sunburned. I just think it's such a good feeling if you're, like, out riding on a boat, just, like, bush light in hand. Yes. Now, that's, yeah, that's good. Yeah. But, like, I just don't like getting sunburned. Drunk. I feel it. Like, I feel you it. walk back in the house and you're, See, like, I don't, I don't get, I used dead. to get burned a lot, but I don't really anymore. I kind of just, I heard shout out, indestructible. shout out to my mom's side of the family for being Middle Eastern. That's, that's what, what I was going to say. You're you're big old nerd. Nerd. That's why I'm referred to as big old nerds. Now me, I am as white as white comes. Mm-hmm. So I burn pretty easily. Yeah. So I can't be passing out drunk. So, so far I have shower beer out on the water beer. I have to go with golf beer. I mean, yes. That's a good beer. Golf beers 100% taste different than regular beers. They taste so much better. Or be beer tastes good to begin with. Like a golf beer is completely different. Very powerful. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to go with uh, back back to my house number one. Post-workout beer i got to put on there, yeah. too. Yeah. That goes along with shower. And there's, there's, there's also a difference, I feel like, between, like, uh, a post-workout beer and a post-last-workout-of-the-week beer. A post last workout of the Dude, week beer is the, the pinnacle of post workout. The, the end of camp. Yeah. Beers. Yeah. Yeah. Post. Oh. Post last workout of the week beer is the top of the top of post workout beers. It tastes unbelievable. So I got shower beer, out on the water beer, golf beer, post workout beer, and I'm gonna. This is a tough one, but honorable honorable mention is going to be the the straight to the bar for the beer. That that's going to be my honorable mention. So what's your? The only reason that's my honorable beer? mention is because I gotta take a free beer over that. Like I said, oh, man, a that's free risky. beer, a free beer is a me beer, especially like on a college budget. A free beer is fantastic. That's you're right. You're right. It's so hard to pick only five. But that's why, and it's, because I have two from house one and two from house two. But just like, shower beer was my number one and post-workout was number four. That's a good house. And then what, golf was number three and uh, free beer was number five. That's a so good yeah, house. so my house, if I had to create my own house, would be shower beer, post-workout beer, golf beer, free beer, and out on the water beer. That's a hell of a house. It is. And uh, you can look at this now to try and decide. Yeah, I'll go real quick here. Yeah, I know mine. So, I'll put shower beer in my house. Straight to the bar from work beer. I'm going to go... Thing is, you can't really go wrong with any of these choices. No, you can't. It's just like, personal preference, those are definitely... I'm going to make a house with those two. So, straight to the bar from work. uh, A shower beer. Getting dressed for a wedding beer. 
That is it's a, a good one. It is, it is a, good a good one. one. That is a very good one. Uh, I'm going to go post-workout beer, just yeah. like I said at the end yeah. of camp. And then my last one. Oh, man. I don't want to be, like, influenced by you. Like, the free beer is, like, right there. But I don't know. Screw it. I'll, I'll put a free beer in there. That's my free beer, it's free beer, beer, shower beer, post workout beer, straight to the bar from work beer, and getting dressed for a wedding. That's a solid house too. That is a very solid house. Shower beer. So that's a, that's a unanimous. Yeah, that's unanimous amongst us. The shower beer, post workout beer. But we're on the same unanimous. page with that, especially to the post last workout beer. Give me porch beer. That is a, that is a good one, especially on a day like today. I mean, just, they're, they're all beers. So. Yeah, just just hanging out there on the porch. Ooh. Golf beer. You got to. They taste different. Just mowed the lawn beer. <laughs> I I thought somebody was gonna yes. pick that one. And Give I me that it. one all day, especially, dude. Especially if you just push mow the lawn. Yes. Beer. Oh. Yes. If, if you just if you were just. Riding on the mower, it's still good, and it's still you still riding, deserve a beer. Exactly. But if you push mowed the lawn, ball oh, shirt you, off as soon as you're done, Bud Light <laughs> dripping down your chest. Yes. <laughs> if, and if you're riding mowing the lawn, you're probably having one while you do it. Yeah, you probably. Are. So, and, but beer after yard work, like a weed eating, you're telling me what is more refreshing after you weed eat. Everything. Dude, sometimes I'll be weeding at work and I'll finish it. I could use like a yes. nasty light or something. It's like, like you that. just get done yeah. weed eating right before lunch break. Mm-hmm. You go to that restaurant, like a bar, probably a dive. Mm-hmm. It's like, damn. Which runs right into lunchtime beer, but it's still the, the yard work. Now, I also have a follow-up question with this. Go for me, and, me and my brother and one of our friends back home have discussed this too. But what are your top three... For shitty college beers, so you could have like, like the shittiest, like like Natty, Bush, Rolling Rock. So you're saying like any Keystone, yeah. Like Which one Budweiser? Would I have? Well, your top three in order for like your favorite ones. Budweiser's on that list. I'm well. It's not like necessarily a shitty beer, see, but it's not see, a college thing. beer that you're gonna. Yeah, like a college beer that you're in. Like so, a basically, Miller, like, anything you're gonna take out with you on a Saturday anything evening. you could kill like a twenty four round. Yep, okay. your top three. Oh, okay. I can I can kill like. No, I have mine. And Bush I'm, Bush Light's easy. Okay. That's an easy. My, yeah, my number one is definitely gonna be different from your guys. So I'll go last. Bud Light is gonna be on there for me. Bush Light, Bud Light, and I mean. As far as, like, shitty beers, like, I mean, I'm pretty standard. Like, I'm getting one of those, too. I, I don't really know what else to, what, what else I've got. Like, all right, you just say two if you want. I'm I just going to go with those two. All right, I got my three, though. You can go. I'm taking Budweiser, right? Diesels only. Diesels only. Give me Paps. Okay. Blue Ribbon. Okay, so PBR. By the way, if you say hams for your third, you have to leave. Yeah, I was going to say hams is the worst Hams is absolutely disgusting. If anybody watching this was like, oh, maybe I'll go try hams now. Johnny Todd Todd loves hams. Don't. Not worth it. It tastes like somebody peed in a natty light and then skunked the whole thing. (laughs) Oh, hams is so good. (laughs) Yeah, it's disgusting. Go ahead. What's your third? You just fucking shit on my third. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Hey, I'm just... Is it not recording, Klaus? Oh, God. God. Oh, God. Well, we got the audio. So... Yeah, we do have the audio. Klaus! But yes, hands! Oh, my God. It only did 10 minutes? I bet your, storm... or your phone storage is... It could probably only do like 10 minute videos at a time. 10 minutes? Jesus. What is we wrong got, with this stuff? We got the audio. It's okay. We got the audio. Oh, man. All right. What are you keep, all mean? Well, it's about? still going on the microphone. Yeah, yeah we got that's the what audio. we said. It's fine. But hams. Yes. Don't disrespect hams. Like, you're telling me when you get a on Thursday pitcher night, you're going to ham so shitty that you're not going to go? Yes. I'll go for the it's experience. Not that I'm, it's not that I'm not going to go. I'm going to go for it's the just experience. I probably, I probably won't get a lot. 
I'm gonna go. For I'll the drink experience. a lot more before than maybe go have like one or two. I think hams is. Oh, I'm just thinking about it. Is Shout great. out Johnny Todd. You and I are in this together. I do not like hams at I all. I think Sherm likes hams too. I'm definitely going hams. But for me, the other thing is, if it's two dollar mug night at Chives, I'm not ordering a hams. I'm ordering probably a mug night. <laughs> Because Sam's is just that bad. It, it is so not. gross. It is so Get horrible. Out of here. So, uh, for me, my number one is 100% Rolling Rocks. I've never had one. I've had Shout one out to one. Petro and Keeney. Because we love ourselves some Rolling Stones. But yeah, Rolling Rocks is definitely my number one. Me and Keeney got at one time our... I shouldn't say that. When we were underage. <laughs> we had it a little bit. And it was okay. And then I never had another beer again, and I waited until I turned 21. <laughs> and then that's all that I drink now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'll definitely put Rolling Rocks on there. Um, I might have to try that tonight. Number two has got to be Bush Light. you got to go with the Bush yeah. Light days. I feel like that's just a staple. My number two and three are basics, but, yeah. One is definitely Rolling Rocks for me. Two is a, is a Bush Latte. And then three is... Three is probably a Natty Light. I've had too many of them to yeah. not put those on there, exactly. so i got to go with Natty Light. But yeah, in terms of my favorite shitty beer, it's definitely got to be... I heard GD loves Natty. Now, what about your your like favorite, like, any type, like, what's your favorite beer? Like, any favorite type. Favorite beer? doesn't have to be, it could be any beer you've ever had. You can go. I mean, like I said, I'm just... I know what mine is. Like it's it's Bud Light for me. It's all about the it's your experience. Favorite, you've never had a beer that tastes better than Bud Light? I have. So But like it's that all that one. Yeah, so <laughs> pick that one. We're the not thing... talking about the experience, we're talking about the taste. Okay, if we're going solely based off taste, it'd be I I gotta think. If you guys know you can... I know mine. And my brother put me on this because he used to work at a bar down in yeah. Columbus. And so when I went to see him, they gave me it. I've only had it one other time since. They had it at this giant meal, I think. But it's called Lost Coast Tangerine Wheat. It is fantastic. It tastes like a Bud Light orange, but like a lot tastier. <laughs> you know, I just thought yeah. of what my favorite. But yeah, it's called Lost Coast Tangerine Wheat. That's probably my favorite beer that I've ever had. Yeah, I'll have to look out for it. Yeah, it's really good. It's very good. Yeah, I'm, I might get a lot of shit for this, but not your father for root beer. Is so dear, dude. I don't give a shit. It gets me drunk. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. My, that's all we can do as as D three offensive linemen. We play football and we kick ass and then we go get drunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, my favorite beer. Give me a. I love. Course banquet, is great. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. I am agree. I I love. I will thoroughly enjoy banquets. I will. I, do that. Yeah, course banquet yeah. is phenomenal. I, I, and it I like saved you one once. And I yes, you thoroughly did. enjoy. Banquets. And the snub bottles are badass. I know exactly what you're talking yes. about. Yes. Yeah. Give me a course banquet. Yeah, those are sweet. But yeah, Lost Coast Tangerine Wheat is gonna be mine. Coors banquet beer. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. That's all the food and. Beer topic slash questions I got. I don't know if you guys thought of one. Oh, I got. Was. We always end with, we always end with three questions. Okay. All right, and yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll talk about you just a little bit more. Actually, no. We'll go right into questions. Go because I know I we talked about it before the podcast. We don't want. Mm-hmm. We don't want to talk about that. But okay, so we're gonna go right into questions. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What would be the name of your boat if you had a boat? Uh, <laughs> what would it be? Oh, jeez. <sighs> Damn. I don't That's know. That's a good question, isn't it? What would be the name of your boat? Dude? Like, Bill Belichick's boat is named Six Rings. Like, V.I. Rings. I feel like I would have to make it, like, yeah. something like C slash, like, Water related. I think yours should be Big Hummus. 
The Big Hummus Mobile. The Big, the <laughs> big Hummus <laughs> Boat. Big Hummus Boat. The SS Big Hummus. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> the, SS, the SS Big Hummus. Or like the SS Crumb. Yeah, the SS Big Hummus. Big Hummus. I like that. Yeah, I'll probably be The that. SS Big Hummus. Yeah. And if anybody's wondering why I have that nickname, I am Middle Eastern and I am big. <laughs> that's the simplest way to put it. I am big. Yeah. Um, the SS Big Hummus, though. Yeah, I like that. Give me, give me the butcher. The butcher. The butcher. Uh, or the beard. The beard? Yeah, one or two. I, I do the butcher. The butcher. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll go Don't the name butcher. your the beard. Mm-hmm. I like the butcher. The triple B. <laughs> yeah, the triple B. <laughs> Bald, beard, blue eyes. Yeah. Yeah, give me the butcher. I'll put a grill on the back. Be grilling every day. Having an out on the water beer. What's yours? I'm trying to think. I've been trying to think. Probably like... Something to do with me being, like, very, very clumsy, burning grills on fire. I don't know. Maybe. That's a kid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the walking catastrophe. The floating catastrophe. The floating catastrophe. <laughs> the floating disaster. Yeah, it'd be something like that. Like, yeah. I don't know. Day one shit. Yeah, nah. it'd be day one shit. Did we tell that story? I don't know if we have. So let's no. tell the story. No, we well, have get, told that story. I was going to say, we should get through the question. Yeah, we have that. told that yeah, story. Yeah, I have. I think yeah. it was episode yeah. two. We were yeah, one or two. No, we didn't tell it with Johnny. We told it on the first one. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. All right. Damn shit. So, we talked about run blocking or pass blocking at the beginning of this podcast. Which one would be easier? Run blocking Aaron Donald or pass blocking Aaron Donald? <laughs> I'm run blocking Aaron Donald. Can I just like as say, a, as your position? So you would be a center and you would be a guard, and I would be, I'd be. A, well, Aaron guess, Donald's an end, so I'm pass blocking. No, Aaron he Donald. plays all over the place. He's a tackle. He's a three tackle. Main before the play happens, can I fake a knee injury and sub someone? For pass, me? Out. pass out. Pass yeah. out. Yeah. That's when I'm using my pass out ability. Uh, <laughs> See you later, Aaron. But actually, you you talked about being like, hey, NFL scouts, you need a big white guy that can just take one step and just eat shit. On yeah, if you need someone who can take it on PAT that runs like a seven three forty, <laughs> probably overweight, but not a great height, unstoppable object. But listen, I'll take one step and get. Oh yeah, we did talk about that. But I'll ask that question. After this, but uh, I would probably pass block Aaron Donald and just pray to God that like they somehow like the rest of the D line like messes up and just drops back into coverage so that way I get like help from the whole offensive line. <laughs> no, you're one on one. Oh jeez, like you're it's you're one on one. I guess I'm. I would. I would say run blocking then. I yeah, I'd rather. No, I, this is gonna sound really bad, but I'd rather get my running back hurt than my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. You run block, hundred percent. Yeah, I feel like run blocking would be a lot more humiliating. So I would rather pass block because I feel like I can. He's gonna bull rush you, put you on. Your it's ass. gonna be humiliating either way. Yeah. yeah it's gonna be bull right. rush ass. Mm-mm. That's how that goes. Okay. It, it, run it, block. It, or it's going to be run block, he's going to push you back 10 yards into the running back, and then you're going to look like an idiot. But it doesn't matter. Either way, you're looking like an idiot. Yeah, yeah so it's, it basically comes down to, do you want your running back or your quarterback hurt? And I would not want to get my quarterback hurt. Sorry, Petro. But, you know, quarterback's pretty valuable. So, I mean, we've been taught yeah. that for a long time. Yeah. So I, I still love my, uh, my running backs, but I'm just saying. Yeah, run blocking would be so mm-hmm. difficult. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got another one? I do have the last one. And this one is specifically for Jared Perez. He made a tweet, something about having, like, butter pecan ice cream is the best flavor. Yeah. And I disagree with him. So I was going to ask you guys, what is the best ice cream flavor? Butter pecan is an I old love- person flavor. Stop well, shitting on me! Mine's butter pecan. Yeah, I love like butter pecan. I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna text him. I think it's fantastic. Yes. I think it's butter so good. is not good. Oh, I think it's so good. My mom are you a three year old? Are you a fifty? Yes. My parents tell me that all the time. That it's an old person. Give me butter pecan, black cherry, 
And then I'll mess around and give me – I'll get wild and get, like, a brownie flavor. But I also mess with just regular vanilla. Like, I'm, I'm going to pick butter pecan. I – I th- I'm texting him right Why now. Why did I just ask that question then? He, he, he was so He's like, I can't believe you picked butter pecan. <laughs> I can't like, believe it, you guys. What's yours? I mean, it'd be like, see, I'm a chocolate guy. I'd, I'd pick like a triple chocolate, like, you know, those triple mm-hmm. chocolate overload yeah, kind yeah. of things. It'd be like yeah. brownie chunks, like hot fudge inside with chocolate ice cream. Mm-hmm. Like, that's my stuff right there. Mm-hmm. Anything, you know, if it had Oreos in there, that'd be perfect. Mm-hmm. I cannot believe you guys. Cookies and cream is great, too, though. But what? Cookies and cream is great. But oh, cookies and cream is Butter great. pecan is up there. It is. Is it the best, though? Is it it's, your It's favorite? so consistent for it me. Is. I think I would have it to. It hits so yeah. good every time. Yeah. It but tastes like, like, a, like eating a butterscotch that you just got from your, your grandma. I can't think of a better butterscotch I've ever gotten from my grandma. That's the only butterscotch. And then mix it with ice cream. No, I actually love butterscotch, though. So. But, see, I just, like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. That's, like, you know, but butter pecan ice cream. There's just so many different flavors that you could have picked from, and you picked simple, that. We're a simple guy. Yeah, we are uh, consistent. But the question that I came up with from talking about that Aaron Donald question, and we have talked about this before, I think. I don't remember if it was with you or with who. But what would be the minimum salary that you would um, take For in the state you're in right now, like the physical shape that you are in right now, to go be a left guard on a PAT field goal team in the NFL. Just knowing that you're getting smoked by a starting D tackle and either two starting D tackles or a starting D tackle and a starting linebacker in the NFL. Every time you go on What would it take? What is the minimum salary So take? So if I play, like, you know, I guess I'd play a whole season. Yes, you're in you're in the physical shape you are in right now. You gotta go out there, put your hand in the dirt, and just know you have to take one step and get mauled by two or three professional NFL defensive players. Minimum salary. <laughs> and we're putting you in, just to make it even better, we're putting you on the Chiefs. So you're out there a lot. They're scoring a lot. I was gonna say what team am I? They're on? scoring a lot. They're kicking a lot. Oh, Their offense is on fire, so you're out there a lot. Um, Damn it. Minimum salary? I mean, it, honestly, like, I mean, if I could. You're honestly, you're probably getting paid to do that, yes, which is whatever, but you're also probably getting a Super Bowl ring. That's what I'm saying. If, if I'm on the Chiefs, I, like. But you also don't know, like, with the physical state you're in, you might, a lot of them might get blocked because of you. I'm just going low every time. I'm taking their legs out. Oh, I would not be good at it. No, right now, no. Have, I weigh yeah, 218 yeah. pounds. Like, I'm, oh, I'm 285 right now, and I'd be terrible at it. Oh, I'm <laughs> 230. I think I could be okay at it because I did it Sit, so much. Bro. I'd get absolutely destroyed, but would well, the kids get blocked? No. No, what did you say prior to that? I'm 230. After that? I did it a lot. I don't even want to talk about this right now. Panko, I did it before you did it. And then I did it for two years after you did it. You want it. me to pull up the film? I was on it every playoff. Every Yeah, you, every never, got, game. you never got smoked. Or I never got smoked. As I always, as well. like halfway through the year, I would always get put back on field goal. You did it for the beginning of the season, and then I jumped in I with did, you. I did it for the entire season, both years. Yeah, you just moved over. Yeah, the difference is I was the guard, you were the tackle. So yeah. I was getting mauled, and you were just laughing at me. Was that was I with you? On that I think time? so. At first, sometimes I got moved a lot, but I don't know. I know. I think it was, it was Westrick and Johnny on the other side. So yeah, it, would, it, it was you and me, and then mm-hmm. Sherman snapping. Mm-hmm. I would probably set mine at two hundred fifty thousand. I think. Yeah, it wouldn't take that much for me. To it, it, it that granted that's a lot of money, but in terms of like NFL contracts, oh, that's, that's not like a three. lot. But. I know, like, I'm only going out there for 16 games. Well, it'll be more because playoffs and stuff because yeah. you're on the Chiefs. Yeah. But, and I know I'm getting murdered, but it's not for the whole year. And it's not like I'm doing, it's not like I'm good or anything. I'm just getting basically a concussion every time I go out there. Right. So I'd say probably 250 k So that way I'm well off, you know. Yeah. I was. It's not going to take a lot of money for me. So it'd probably be, like, minimum 
it'd be six figures, so a hundred thousand minimum. I wouldn't care. I'm on the Chiefs. I'm getting the. I'm getting a ring. You're also probably going to the hospital a lot. <laughs> Did uh, I yeah. sacrifice for my team? Do I sacrifice for my team every day as an offensive lineman? Yes. Wouldn't be a big deal for me. Yeah, I'm. There's not enough money. I'm not interested. <laughs> you really? Yeah. Awesome. I already have weak knees. Let alone I've <laughs> lost eighty pounds. Yeah, what did you want? Would you take? Would you take some more weaker knees for like a million dollars? Bro, I'm trying to like <laughs> play catch with my kid later. <laughs> you just sit on the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> if I had... no, I understand. Where I'm going. probably going like no. There's not enough money. I'm not interested. Okay, he's I'm not good. Interested. Not interested. Now, if you were in like your like peak athletic performance, peak O line performance. So we're talking like the morning before Muskegon, my junior year. Like, yeah, we're talking that. Yeah, yeah, we're talking uh, that. Uh, no, dude, Mus- oh. Muskegon, I got killed. That's the team that always killed us on field goal. So team that always, let's rephrase that. That's the team that always killed Klaus on. Yeah, it's just me. Like they always double teamed. No, they did. They were definitely. They definitely came the hardest on yeah. their PAT block. It was like wow. But my peak <laughs> offensive line physique. Uh, we're. I mean, morning of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'd probably take like. I'm with you. Two two hundred fifty because I was still like two eighty five there. Yeah. Minimum, you wouldn't go like. Like if you got two hundred thousand for a salary, no, I want good. that fifty k. Yeah, I'll be really, really I, good. I'd take a hundred thousand. I am holding down the left guard spot. For yeah, PAT. I deserve that extra. Yeah. 50K. Imagine you can eat whatever you want because you can be like you can be heavy. Yeah, but guess what? Oh, you you also it. have to go out there and get murdered. That's fine. Murdered. Murder. They're not destroyed gonna... because they're going to game plan against you. They're going to be like, this guy's the weak league. Let's send the whole team at him. Exactly. That'll open up spots for a fake. We're going to go for two. Did I sacrifice for my team yet again? Yes. Shut the hell up, bro. I'm a a team player. 250K for me. That's 200. Yeah, I'm with you. Peak physique. Mm -hmm. 250. You're 100K. All right. Fair enough. Cheap ass. That's all I got. You got anything else to talk about? I'm good to go. I'm, I'm good, good to go. Solid this, discussion. I, Solid discussion. A good podcast. Though. Technical difficulties. Screw it. We'll just put up the audio for now. We'll put up whatever video we got. And, and pictures. At, at we'll put point, up Klaus's highlights of him getting smoked <laughs> yeah, yeah, the ATV. Yeah, we'll just keep, since we've we'll talked about it. Yeah, <laughs> we, we don't have to film anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. I, I haven't had to film for, like, a long time, which kind of sucks. He I has do. it. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, like I said... Uh, we'll be a lot more consistent with this social media content and yep. YouTube, and we'll get this technical difficulty situated. Uh, we'll just play whatever video we have. And if you made it to this point in the podcast, you might as well subscribe, you know. You might as well follow me on Twitter, too. Follow Jake Panko um, on Twitter at... At J, so just the letter J, P-E-N-K-O-5-4. Not trying to brag, but I tweet about like once every two years, so I'm pretty popular. And Instagram, <laughs> if you want to shout that out, go ahead. Uh, I think it's just I think it's uh, Jake underscore Penko. 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 All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Solid podcast today. We'll be back next week with maybe another guest. We'll figure something out for you guys, but we're gonna we're gonna keep this thing rolling. We'll be in the shack. Get shack tap. Yeah, shack tap. Tabs is going to get lift in. Enjoying some shower beers. Some post-workout shower beers. Go enjoy a beer. Yeah.